be. That brings us to 7.51 here at K&E Bean, 66 degrees. Time for News Extra with our program. Here's Kevin Mooney. Thank you very much, Dennis. Good morning, everyone. Karen Anderson is here from the Scots Club Caring United Chamber of Commerce. She also dragged Mike Downey along as well. So morning, he more than Mike. Morning, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't quite that bad. It wasn't quite that bad, was it? <laughs> All right. So they're here to talk about a uh, chamber workshop that's uh, coming up a week from today over at the Midwest Theater. It's called Standing Tall. What do you stand for? Let's talk about it a little here, Karen. Well, Kathy McDaniels uh, saw Kent Noble in Cheyenne, and she thought it was wonderful. So we contacted him, and we're bringing him here next week on the 27th. We'll be at the Midwest Theater from 3 to 5.30. Um, so come and check it out. All right. And if you're a chamber member, it's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great deal. Uh, we give uh, two free tickets if you're a chamber member, and then it's $10 thereafter for any cham- chamber member and it's twenty dollars for non-members uh, we think it's a really good event and uh, i think people can get a lot out of it and uh, you know we always need to be reminded of ethics and how we should conduct ourselves and i think most people do a pretty good job around here but it certainly isn't a, a bad idea to be reminded that's exactly right uh, this guy is going to talk about a number of things there's three things listed here in the brochure that he's going to uh, really talk about you kind of have to have uh, yeah, you, some guidelines to life don't you yeah he talks about reflecting on what matters most to you exploring the core values you want to stand for and defining the personal code you want to live by and that's you know very basic of what he's going to be talking about and so you know I just encourage everyone to you know get some of their folks from their businesses uh, you know I think management would probably be best but you know you can anybody can come we don't care yeah. um to, to participate in this. This is a, a neat event, and I think the Chamber has done a really good job of bringing this event, um, and I think we need to take advantage of it. All right, Karen. This this gentleman is, uh, like you said, he's from Colorado. You can... Uh, We're not uh, hold that against him. Yeah. yeah, he's from Colorado. <laughs> for, yeah, that's right. So that's okay. Probably, you know... He probably likes the buffs. Probably likes the buffs like I do, maybe. Yeah. You know, who knows? But um, anyway, you can... Uh, Comes from the Center for Cowboy Ethics and Leadership. It's at cowboyethics.org. And this is basically based on a book uh, written by another person, right? Yes, Jim Owen wrote the book Cowboy Ethics. And there's just some great things in there. that You need to come focus where you are in life. Yeah. Okay. So uh, kind of like uh, Tim McGraw's Humble and Kind song. Some yes. lessons to learn. Right? Right. Some things you can live by. So that's what the idea here is and uh, should be very good. There's also, did we mention the pie thing? No, and that's important. During the intermission of the session, we're going to have pie. And I think, you know, that's a good, that's That's a a good good thing. Yeah. It's a good motivator to be there also. So uh, you get to learn about ethics and you get to have your favorite pie. So, you know, there's lots of advantages to being a part of this. And because you have it at the Midwest Theater, this guy's going to use all the avenues that they have at the Midwest yeah. Theater. Well, he's not only going to talk, he's probably going to use a screen, he's going to have PowerPoint, video, all that stuff, right? Right. I think he's going to bring examples, and uh, I saw parts of it. You know, we have a little video clip, and he talks about, you know, people and their lives and, and how they've used ethics properly and, I suppose, improperly. Uh, and and I think it it. It's going to have some really good stuff, and I think I really encourage people to be a part of it. It's next next Monday, June twenty seventh. It starts at three to five thirty. We tried to make it so it's kind of during the business day in the afternoon that people don't have to go back out at at night. We thought that was a good time for people to, to yeah. be a part of it. So hopefully that works, and and people will will sign up. Yeah, the end of the day on Monday, you've got all those things that always happen right away when you go to work on Monday morning, things from over the weekend that you got to take care of, and then you can go to this in the afternoon and just uh, have pie and, and kind of get <coughs> something nice uh, where you can possibly learn some things about yourself. We're going to talk more about things going on at the Chamber right after this. Regional West invites you and your family to be our guest at the Kids Safety Safari Saturday, June 25th at the Riverside Discovery Center. 
Children and parents will learn safety skills and experience hands-on safety education to empower kids of all ages to recognize and avoid hazards. Join the fun and experience the learning opportunity at the Kids Safety Safari Saturday, June 25th from 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. Sponsored by Riverside Discovery Center and Regional West. On News Extra, where uh, we've talked uh, before the break about this uh, great workshop that uh, the Chamber is sponsoring over at the Midwest Theater coming up next Monday. Uh, Standing Tall, What Do You Stand For? Kent Noble from the Center for Cowboy Ethics and Leadership will be the speaker. It's easy to get involved, 3 to 5.30 p.m. Uh, you get two free tickets if you're a Chamber member. And uh, even if you, uh, and ten dollars uh, otherwise for chamber members, twenty dollars for non-chamber members, pretty good deal. Next Monday evening, they also uh, Karen Anderson and Mike Downey here. Um, you guys also have a business after hours coming up, right? Yes, on Thursday, Champion Realty will have a business after hours from five to seven, and they do a great job. So stop over and say hi Thursday. All right, you guys have business after hours pretty much every Thursday. Uh, uh, every other Thursday, something like that. To 30 yeah, a year. yeah, quite a few, and uh, of course you have the one big one uh, before the duck race and all right. that kind of stuff. Right. So uh, they're always a lot of fun, and uh, it's good networking. That's what the whole thing's about, isn't it? Right. You meet people and great food. Yeah. You learn about people's businesses and and maybe not know that much about it. New yeah. businesses or old businesses, either one. So I think it's. It's a neat service that the the chamber kind of motivates people to be a part of, and so yeah, yeah, it, it's good. All right, Mike is on his uh, last. You're on. You're still on the board, but as an ex officio member, you went through your kind of presidency last year, right? Right. Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. It was. Uh, it was. You know, you think you know a lot about the community, but I think when you actually have to help lead something, I mean, Karen does a great job, but when you have to lead something, you learn a lot more. Yeah, and so it was a good experience. Uh, enjoyed it, and uh, Kim Ferguson's doing a great job this year, and got a good board and good leadership coming in after Key uh, after Kim with uh, Jeff West, mm-hmm. and so we've had a really good run of of people that have been the president, I think, and Chamber's as strong as it's ever been. Yeah, I think so too. How many members do you have now, Karen? Do you have any idea? Three hundred and eighty nine. Three hundred and eighty-nine. Yeah, we'll, we'll take more. Yeah, yeah you'll, you'll absolutely get up to four hundred maybe yeah, this year. Absolutely. Huh? Okay. All right, you guys. Thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. Mike thanks Downey. For the time. You bet. No problem. Mike Downey and Karen Anderson here from the chamber, and uh, we always welcome them to News Extra. Thanks, Karen.